Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another deck profile. In today's video, I want to share with you guys the Power Pole deck list I have been playing as of late. So we'll get into that in the video. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And if you guys do want to help support the channel and you want to buy any of the cards we talk about in today's video or any trading cards for that matter, it does greatly help me out if you were to use my link in the description to TCG Player. I really do appreciate it as always. Now, talking a little bit about the Power Pole deck, I don't really have it pegged as one of my top red decks. I just haven't talked about it in that capacity in any of the more meta centric videos I've been doing, but it is a newer deck. So I want to get the list that I've been playing out there for anyone who's interested in trying to play this deck, but I don't know, maybe there's stuff I'm missing. So I don't know if you have some suggestions for the build, drop it down in the comments. This is definitely, I would say more of like a basic build, but I think it incorporates all the necessities you need for like the current meta game at the very least. So I want to show you guys a shell that i'm playing with now going on to the leader a couple things i guess i do actually really like how you can awaken without having to have anything specific in play i guess technically you have to play a specific one drop in order to be able to awaken but luckily there's no shortage of them which is really good so once you have the gohan under your opponent's leader you can awaken on turn two that is very very nice obviously the free power pulls are exactly what the deck wants to be doing now giving the uh the goku's critical is cool it doesn't come online super early because typically you're not playing our z cards till turn three so i don't know it's, it's it is nice to push for like some late game 25k crit damage that's definitely not bad i wish it was just a, a little bit earlier where the, where the crit would come in but it is what it is now let's go ahead and check out the actual main deck we have four copies of power pull no questions asked one thing that actually bothers me about this deck is that you can sometimes die with a bunch of power pulls in your hand and that technically means you have like way less combo power than most other red decks now what i guess i will say to that is like you do have to get used to playing this deck and know when you can like charge power poles or maybe even leave power poles in your drop to then pick them up on future turns with other cards and not really worry about like stockpiling all the power poles in your hand at once because like i said you'll have so many in your hand that you can't combo out of things or even combo into things and then you're going to be in kind of a bad spot so one thing i've learned about playing the deck a bit more recently then we have four copies of Krillin Student Bonds. Just what I was talking about a second ago. You know, if you have a copy of Krillin in your hand, but you already have like two power poles in hand, don't just go ahead and use the Krillin willy nilly. Even though it is a limit one, you might think to yourself, well, I want to go ahead and use this every single turn that I have one because of the limit one. Well, it's just sometimes better to have the 5K combo in hand, especially if you have a bunch of power poles already. So just keep that in mind. Then we have four copies of Goku Daily Training and four copies of Goku Enduring Fury. Our intermediate battle cards, these things get boosted up to 20k with the power pulls. The uh, nice thing about them is they both replace themselves. So this deck is able to draw a pretty healthy size hand. I do actually quite like that because a lot of other red decks, you know, their cards don't replace themselves, but they're very aggressive cards. So they kind of make up for it in that way. These cards are a bit less aggressive, not having like double strike or crit or any of the keywords, but they do, like I said, replace themselves and with power pull generating more draws. Uh, if, a, if a card with power pull under it ever survives a turn, that's actually value city. So definitely a really good thing there. Then we have two copies of Bulma, Talented Youth. Honestly, I'm probably going to go ahead and cut this card because I have never really casted it. And I think there are plenty of ways to recycle your power pulls between Krillin, Student Bonds, and the Z deck, which we'll see in a little bit. So yeah, I don't think this is super, super necessary, at least for my testing with the deck. Then we have three copies of Gohan, Awaken, Hidden Power. The only reason I'm playing three is just for... I don't know the off chance that we don't have one in our deck that would be super unfortunate it's almost like the logic my teammate mike used with his spirit bomb deck profile where he played three copies of spirit bomb sure you could play one but then you're hoping to both not draw it and it doesn't end up in your life and in the case of gohan you actually need it to be in your deck which is uh super important and then you could play two but if you have one in life and draw one early you could be in a really rough spot i mean of course like with three you could get super unlucky and they could all end up in your life they could all end up uh, in your hand let's just say super unlikely but definitely possible but i don't know three is the number i'm going with for now and it's been working out okay four copies of ox king grandfather son gohan and two copies of chi chi protecting mother now you need to open with either of these cards because it allows you to put your gohan underneath your opponent's leader which pretty much sets out the rest of your deck i guess we'd probably cut bulma and just play one to two more chi chi 
and that would just be you know maximum consistency on your actual engine starting slash self awakening one drops so that's probably the change you're going to want to go with from this build three copies of goku piccolo arch rivals fighting together okay so we'll see some more cards in the deck that contribute to this but the turn four in this deck is pretty crazy this thing buffs your leader basically a 25 or sorry 30k because powerful uh, dual attack double striker only costing two energy on turn four is very very nice i do like that quite a bit so yeah this card definitely super solid four copies of goku overwhelming power solid turn three card i do like the fact this has potential for a uh 25 dual attack crit that is definitely possible on turn three because like i said you'll be playing your z battle card on turn three most likely so that is definitely pretty nice three copies of piccolo prideful strength it is nice to have a one cost to gate that snipes 15ks we are seeing a fair amount of 15ks like one matchup for example is like against the new blue baby aggro deck i've been catching opponents where i can counter attack with this snipe their servant now they can't overlord because it was 15k exactly so that's pretty cool and obviously there are other uses for this card outside of that three copies of gohan defeating the demon one nice thing for everyone's wallet a lot of these red decks can't really play four copies of gohan because they just don't set up z energy that easily so yeah uh, i think three is like actually the optimal number for this card in a deck like this and honestly for most red decks going forward just like i said you don't really have turn one turn two potential of playing this card like sin or gogeta had four copies of added sand youth obviously best super combo for the deck s is for vegito a light in the dark so yeah if you can draw your secret rare and on turn four go with this into arch rivals fighting together that is a very nutty turn four two copies testing the op i think two copies of blocker negates is kind of just becoming the standard i still like it because it can definitely just eat up two attacks for one card i think it's still pretty solid two copies of beer's ball so having our turn four play be as cheap as arch rivals fighting together is it is very nice to be able to drop that and then still have the energy open for a counter play to floodgates that is a really nice thing about the turn four in this deck and then two copies of king vegeta's imposing presence definitely 100 side deck more copies of this card it is probably the best defensive card for a deck like this that, that is uh, a red sand so yeah definitely want to throw more in your sideboard let's take a look at the z deck we have one copy of surmounting honestly i haven't needed it but we are a six life awakened leader and we don't have other real ways of getting down to five or four or, i mean from five we can go to four by using a blocker to eight but we don't have a real way of going to six on command so it is still worth it in, in the z deck in my opinion for that reason two copies of piccolo unleashed power and two copies of goku full power and full blast i've been liking a 2-2 split of this because at its best case piccolo is a one drop one z energy that does get you into the goku here and i will never pay two energy for this piccolo so i'm pretty much always dropping it when it costs one but there have been many games where i'm back-to-back -back turns i've dropped like piccolo on three you know blocked with it done whatever played the goku now it kind of interrupts my opponent on their turn with the ability to minus 10k certain battle cards and the following turn like you know we're only spending two energy for our boss card maybe one energy for a beer ball and if we don't kill him that turn we can just pull a blocker right out of the z deck that's going to go ahead and play another goku and put out more pressure so this has felt pretty solid and then one defender of life and one rush attack vegeta honestly i've not been casting these cards very much defender of life in this deck is probably better than rush attack because of that burn aspect if your opponent's sitting at a stubborn four life defender of life can at least drop them down to three on command but three z energy is definitely a lot for this deck like it is nice that we only really technically i guess need only one z energy because our main play piccolo unleash power is a one z energy play and whatever can trip we play on turn one after we put the gohan under our opponent's leader we can combo that off to z energy that's super efficient but uh, unless you're getting aggroed pretty hard throughout the mid game and combo much super combos or 5ks three z energy is quite a bit and then actually getting rush attack online and able to go is also a very difficult task to do because to get the most value out of rush attack you have to have five z energy you uh play it for the initial two z energy go down at three on the first swing recharge back to four z energy and then you have four z energy to use the activate main to restand it that's just asking a lot for a deck like this and yeah we're kind of back in that trend where like a lot of zenkai decks don't make super efficient z energy but at least now the two decks that made the most efficient z energy super unfairly are at least now out of the equation right but overall guys that is the list that i have been playing like i said it does feel rather basic it is very archetype heavy and i almost wonder if i'm missing like 
specific red goku leader support cards from other sets it almost feels like i am i know in this set we got a lot of cards you can just play in a red goku leader like overwhelming power for example but i don't know let me know in the comments below if i'm missing anything from this list guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one